All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. <laughs> Hello, I am Corbin, and welcome to the channel. This is my workshop, as you can see, American Muscle. Or more or less, it's just actually just Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and I'm just having a good time. Uh, when I'm not usually at the shop, I'm playing video games, having a good time with my friends. This will obviously be a solo of me just building a car. No, I'm not building this Mustang sitting in front of me. Obviously, it's already put together. Uh, not too bad looking. Got a V8 dual overhead cam, supercharged. Not gonna get too much into that one because uh, I don't want you to know too much about that one. This is uh, not on the bread and butter today either. I'm going inside, I'm showing what's inside. This is what we're getting into. Camaro. Obviously, the game itself has a different name for him, but we are going to go with a 1996 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, no Z28, we're gonna go with ASS. Obviously not no Z28. Z28 would have some body modifications to the bottom of it. We are obviously going to stick with the engine that is in it. We're going to refurbish absolutely everything that is in it because, well, this car is quite beat. As you can see, I mean, I painted it when it got here, but other than that, uh, the car itself is beat. Wheels are beat. Uh, put it up. I'll show you what's going on underneath. It's quite beat. Quite beat. Look at that. See? <clears throat> obviously needs everything taken off fixed and then thrown back on so be an easy fix put together nothing that uh, you know we can't get done some of you are probably looking at this s15 as I was uh, looking at that uh, yep this will be another project I am sure you'll see a video on maybe not who knows maybe I'll do a Mustang after I do the Camaro I'm a big muscle guy myself personally I own a Mustang uh, but you know love myself some tuners big fan of uh, European and Japanese cars I love uh, uh, coupes mostly <clears throat> obviously I love sedans but more or less love coupes my favorite and go-to never really owned a sedan like that so can't really speak on them anyway let's uh, dive back in over to this Camaro and uh, get it going shall we all right obviously the first thing we need to do is get it up on the lift <clears throat> make sure we can take everything off as to drive shaft, transmission, and starter. Oh, look at that guy. Use a little bit of WD for it. Get it off. Or PB Blaster, you know. <clears throat> whatever you use. Ah, pull that off. Go up front. Let's pull the starter off, shall we? Come on. Close the anger. There we go. The old gearbox for the V8 next. Yeah, 10 4, good buddy. More WD 40 to use. You know, I very much like playing this game, probably for the pure fact that uh, I wouldn't say it's super in-depth when it comes to being everything about cars, but it's not, like, not super in-depth. Like, you learn a lot about cars playing this game, and it's not so much that, like, you don't have fun or you're not enjoying yourself playing this game. But anyway... Let's get back to it, shall we? <sighs> Let's take off these uh, front exhaust pipes. Make sure we have a clean exit of the engine. I already made sure the oil was uh, empty when it got here. All right, let's lower it down, shall we? And uh, pull the engine out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Beautifully clean, beautifully executed. Everything's out. Let's get it going. Install the engine. Don't know what's done to it. Didn't do anything to it when it got here. I obviously just got it in, put it on the rack, lifted it up, got it going. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just keep this here. Let's just keep this here. <clears throat> Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Come on, good buddy. Let's get the wheels off on the front. I like to usually go through, get everything off of it, and then uh, from there, put everything on the shopping list. And then uh, go buy everything, put everything on the car, get everything on the inside, and then go rebuild the engine. I'm very weird about how I tear everything down. I'm very much uh, 
like do all the suspension engine first which i think personally is the uh, way to go on this game i don't know some people are much different if i want to take the engine out go rebuild the engine immediately and then put it back in i'm uh, more take the engine out put it on the stand rebuild it uh, after i do all the suspension <clears throat> and after i refurbish everything in the engine bay itself all right since we're under here let's uh let's get it going now shall we let's pull the brakes off front assembly honestly rebuilding the car doesn't take super long it kind of depends on what car you're on certain cars uh, it don't take super long if you use uh, workshop mods uh, certain cars may use more I know that I have an F1 that uh, takes a lot more work absolutely a lot more work because well it's an F1 car it's got a lot more going into it like three radiators, four different situations on the suspension, so it's definitely something I wasn't used to when I got into it. We almost got the front end all torn apart here. Let's make sure we get everything all nice and done. Not get any scratches on the paint. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, man. What's your, uh, for anybody that plays this, I'm sure if you have all as many hours into it as I do, you have a car sitting outside your shop that is, like, your daily or what you would technically drive to the shop. What you guys sitting outside yours? I uh, got that Cobra. That Cobra would be my technical daily that I would drive back and forth to the shop. I mean, it's an 800 wheel horsepower Cobra, so, like, a little ridiculous, but, I mean, what are you gonna do? You just gotta dive on into an 800 wheel horsepower that's a street car you know just give her help you know what i'm saying do it for dale as uh, some people would say almost got this whole front done thinking i'll do the uh, whole under chassis get everything done here and then uh go on honestly i don't even i might not have to put any of this on a shopping list a lot of cars might not or a lot of parts that might have to be on a shopping list considering like That'll probably have to be on a shopping list, but a lot of things that it looks like I can uh, just fix on up at the at the parts store or at the parts table, which is good for me. I don't have to uh, spend a whole lot of money. Let's get onto the back here. Some of these parts, regardless, you do have to buy. Like regardless, Let's see what happens though. I am uh, not super worried about it. I'm gonna hit a little bit of WD. How about that? More WD, more WD. Take that leaf spring plate. Mm. I've always been curious about the people that uh, created this game, to be honest, because they have to know at least some things about cars, or at least enough to know a little bit, like simple mechanic things. Up, oh, more WD. Whole rear brake system is absolutely rusted. got going on back here solid rear axle but it's not using relief suspension on these cars i will admit is very uh odd because i feel like on a car like this I, I feel like there's a leaf spring back here i'm not sure i've never worked on a catfish so i can't actually speak on it but if I, i'm pretty sure there's a, a leaf back here if there's not a leaf spring i uh i think it might have like how the pork man has it and that's the only reason why I bring up that the catfish would have a leaf spring in the back of it is because the Corvettes have that, like, goes from the uh, left to right on the rear axle. It's a really weird setup. It works. It gets the job done, but it's very weird and very odd. I will not lie. Sorry about that. I had to get really depth into that one because Corvette rear suspension then, not now, old uh, Corvette suspension was really different with that uh leaf spring action on the rear We're almost done on the rear which is good to know good to know good to see honestly all this looks to be very fixable and then replaceable and sell this car immediately what i like to do is since i'm i am a basically achievement hunting on this game i'm trying to buy as many cars now from the junkyard get them fixed get them sold and get them up out of here that is my main goal to be honest i what i'm really trying to get done and uh hopefully i can get that done you know what i'm saying if not none you i think every 
main goal for a shop is to really just have a good flow of customers and well good looking cars and a good looking shop i mean keep your shop clean man depending on how you like it just make sure you like it clean nice and clean you know what i'm saying you gotta have it clean we have beautiful v8 sitting on that love it. the only thing i wish is you could have more than one engine on a stand that's something i wish you could absolutely have done you know what i mean like oh absolutely wish you could have two or three engine stands because that would be very useful for really about anything to be honest. the parts have been brought in <clears throat> everything has been shipped in perfectly and completely are we are ready to install oh let's get it going here boys Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. <clears throat> simple, simple, simple. You know, you gotta love it when FedEx is just right on time with everything. You know, I had to wait a little bit, a couple days for everything, you know, just to get every piece. But, uh, you know, it seems we got every piece for the undercarriage. At least let's hope so. Let's make sure we can get the whole front suspension put together. Get the front wheels and tires put together. I got a whole new set of front rims and tires or wheels, rims, however you say it. I do not judge personally. <clears throat> Being someone that is amongst the car community, I don't really care. I only care how people, you know, generally put what they put on their cars for like wheels if they're, you know, made from the right quality and not from a really bad company. Some people know what I'm talking about, others probably have no idea and it's going right over their heads, so I will not worry about any of that. <clears throat> oh, I think I know what I forgot. You know what I think I forgot, boys? I think I forgot the will to put the springs and everything together. Let's, uh, let's get all that going. Let me get this all put together and then I'll go over there and compress those springs on and make sure they're ready to go on ah, so pretty not a big fan of painting the front uh, or suspension parts or anything like that because well I haven't done that only thing I've really been uh, super anal I guess about doing is painting calipers painting engine blocks and things like that for certain cars that are made like manufacturers do it like i know chevy's did my bonehead mistake let's uh let's put that front shock absorber on shall we Ooh, look at that that looks good that looks good let's put this on <clears throat> so we're link you know i got my new wheels front ones are 235 i don't know how they're gonna look folks I don't know if they're really going to look a whole lot better than the uh, stock wheel. I really don't, but we'll see after I uh, put the front suspension on and uh, take a little look and see. Last swing bar. Come on, come on. 235, there we go. Don't want to put the wrong uh, size ones. Don't want to put the wider ones on the front. That would be really bad. It would ride like shit. It would drive like shit. Wow, that was good. Looks really good. Alright, let's put the rear together now. <clears throat> I have the whole exhaust ready to go on, so uh, I'll put everything on that needs to go on while I'm back here, shall we? Should have a fuel pump. There it is. There it is. You know, I'm a big fan of catfishes. Always have been. I love Camaros in general. My uh, my father was a big Chevy guy, so I grew up really enjoying Chevys, which is ironic because myself now I re I drive a Ford, so funny how things work out like that. <clears throat> uh, I drive a Mustang. For anybody that was uh, very curious when I said I drive a Ford, yeah, I drive a Mustang. Uh, nothing special about it though. Just a regular old degular Mustang. Uh, it's a 2007 GT for uh, people curious. Before that, I drove a BMW E36 M3. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, that's 
why I'll never buy another BMW and why I probably won't own another European car just because of the situation I had with that BMW. Uh, nothing super bad, uh, just the car itself was reliable, it's working on it was uh, horrible. It was, you know, tight spaces, not enjoyable doing that when, uh, you know. But anyway, love my BMW, it was fast, it was super enjoyable. Definitely uh, will probably buy a newer BMW at some point, but I won't buy an old uh, German BMW anymore. Definitely not. I've already been there, done that, experienced that situation. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to stay with uh, muscle cars. I really enjoy my Mustang, like I said. Uh, I'll stick with muscle cars. A few of my friends own these cars anyway, so it's not like I won't see them around. A really close friend of mine that actually lives up the street from me actually owns an E36 that's decently fast. So, well, when it was running, he just cracked his uh, his head. That's a whole different conversation and a whole different video. You will actually see at some point. Rear end is together. Oh, that looks good. <clears throat> that looks so good. I don't think I'm missing anything at all. Nope, we are we are a okay, folks. Let's put the rear mufflers on. Let's put everything on on the rear end from the exhaust. Ooh, not that modified exhaust. <laughs> oh no no no! That's for a different car, there, Mr. Camaro. You do not get that. All right, let's uh, come on, come on, come on. I don't think I got these yet. Nope, they have not been delivered yet. They are not in the mail. No big deal. No big deal. Let's uh, let's lower this and uh, start ripping apart the uh, engine bay. Get everything torn off order everything and then uh, get it all going uh, looks like this is uh, actually they're all empty nice looks like the car came to me bone dry no wonder it uh, was completely rusted every situation you know at least we uh, whoops at least we took care of the the big situation the suspension and everything that was absolutely important let's go over here and see what's going on man bitch clips man even in the game are they absolutely annoying bitch clips in real life are annoying and bitch clips in fucking a game are absolutely annoying but nonetheless we're getting the job done getting everything torn off put everything on the list send it out to Santa get everything back put it in and then it will be a done deal <clears throat> I'm excited folks I think that's it. What do we think? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, it looks good. Look at that. 235's front, 255's rear. Ah, uh, what did Ronald McDonald say? Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Mm, that's a good looking car right there. I will not love it. Alright, let's get the computer. Let's get everything ordered. And then, uh, hopefully, it won't take uh, super long. Hopefully, we can get some. Uh, overnight parts from Japan if you will some of theirs or a lot of theirs orange <clears throat> Ford did a lot of theirs blue like it's just all depending on a certain vehicle and what they did that is absolutely beautiful nothing like a lovely day and getting all your parts in and making sure we can put this engine bay together and then tearing the engine apart let's get it ooh looks like I missed a part down there folks mm. Rookie mistakes, but hey, it happens. Nothing you can do. All right, let's move forward. Let's get everything put together down here and uh, move forward with it. Got all the bitch clips, hopefully. Every bitch clip. Oh, look at that. Looks like we got every bitch clip. They're all perfecto mundo, Raymundo. Everybody loves that. <clears throat> oh, love it, love it, love it. Got all the fuses in my back pocket. As you can see, we pulling them out uh, with ease. Oh, man. You know, being bent over the hood of this car while it's halfway up on the rack is not the most comfortable thing. I will not lie to you. But we got this. We're going to get this together. Go tear that engine apart. And then, uh, you know, see what's really wrong with that engine. Obviously, other than the obvious. Radiator? Oh, beautiful, 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 Corbin. Absolutely beautiful. What's your washer? 
Power steering reservoir. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Everything's in. Oh, look at that. We missed a part. Yikes. Let's take it apart. Let's fix it. And then uh, get that part ordered, actually. Get this part ordered. <clears throat> and then we'll be right back, shall we? We, we, we shall. Nothing too big we can't get done. Am I right? Of course. We got everything we need, folks. We got everything we need. Ran into the back. Had the parts. Had the extra parts. And we're getting it all going. Look at that. <clears throat> Six bolts. No sweat. I know I have a actual mechanics way of going about it. I can't help it. I always split the bolts. I'm really weird about that. I can't help it. All right. Looks like everything in the engine bay has been perfectly put together. I think we're ready to do an engine teardown. Let's get it, folks. Let's get it. I'm excited. First off. It's not really torn apart like I would expect it to be. It's actually very clean for an engine. Like, other than the obvious rust, but, you know, you'll see in the future compared to what there is. Cars can be really bad. So I want to start off with something easy. Show that, uh, you know, not all cars are super bad. Especially this one. This car was actually quite easy. Not super rusty. Most parts were actually easy to be fixed and or, like, actually most parts were fixed. Honestly, most parts were fixed. I think that's the best part. Most parts were fixed. Most parts were able to order in, get some from oh, 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 O'Reilly's. But nonetheless, everything was easy and grabbable off our shelves if O'Reilly's didn't have it. <clears throat> Getting the top half of this engine torn apart, as you can see, it's, uh... Pretty easy to tear an engine apart. It's not super in depth, but it's enough with uh, anybody that really knows cars. It's pretty close, and that's why I like it. I mean, there's nothing more enjoyable than really getting to, you know, play a game that's something you enjoy doing on a regular basis. Uh, let's take off the front pulleys. Absolutely, front pulleys. Where is it? There it is. That first idler. Bam. Take this off. Take this first. Alright. <clears throat> Not a big fan of uh, two serpentine belts. My uh, Mustang, before the Mustang I have now. I didn't have the AC, I took it out. So I basically took off that serpentine belt. Put a different pulley on it so it was no longer the uh, AC compressor pulley. Because I took the AC compressor off. Or I took it out. And then I put uh, just a regular pulley on it. Really smart idea for uh, people that are going the uh, no AC route on a uh, three valve Mustang. If not, hey, I get it. Trust me, not some people don't want uh, their AC out. I did it in Arizona, man, so a little different for me being that uh, I just did not care. I wanted to just be absolutely ridiculous and as fast as possible for NA. Now, being that I'm boosted, I don't really care about being the fastest because, well, I just don't. I really don't, and I'm getting to that age now where I'd rather just have a really nice car and have the ability to drive it everywhere and have AC and, you know, enjoy my car. Put really good suspension on it. I box springs, sway bars, shocks, so I really enjoy the car. Actually, I really can't complain with it. Sorry, getting too much into my Mustang. We are getting down to the depths and dirty of this V8. Oh, yep, intake on top. Throttle body. Take that, and now this will come off. Hello, hello. Ironically, as much as I wish I had... Oh, actually, some of these parts I will probably have in the back. But uh, I think I'm going to have to order some of these parts. The head and the block, I will be able to... Really... Uh, fix. Put up on the... Uh, put in the machine shop and, you know get everything machined but uh, I won't have to order anything new like the block and the heads are all perfect I'll probably just have to get them machined that's it which is not that bad compared to actually having to order a brand new head which in my book that's good give it a give it a two thumbs up or a two screwdrivers going don't know where I went with that but hey we're going with it my friend good to it uh, I know we're getting down to the depth and dirty of the engine at this point which is good we can get it put back together and I think that's what everybody's really really worried about honestly they're 
go, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's roll her over, shall we? Haha, <laughs> everybody knows what I meant by that one. Everybody loves that one. Got her rolled over. Let's get the down and dirty everything off. Mm-mm, rod caps coming off, you know, just like a top. Right when it comes off, ooh, how you doing? Look at that, burnt, oh. Them bearings are burnt, mm. For some people that don't know, because I'm just pulling off that, rod caps usually have bearings. Same with about the end of the pistons. They have bearings on the side, so yeah. Probably destroyed at that point, my friends. Uh, especially some of these. Look at these pistons. They're destroyed. Gunk. Absolute sludge. You know, you just can't do nothing with that. What are you going to do with sludge? I'll tell you what you're doing with it. Nothing. You're doing nothing, my bud. You have to take the pistons out, send it down to your machinist, and hope that God he can work his magic. Me, I got a good machinist who's actually been a good friend since high school. So I don't have to worry about my machinist. My machinist is solid. Alright, pistons are out of the block, or they are coming out of the block, my bad. Rod caps are out of the block. Pistons are now on their way out. Sailing at amazing rate. Just so you know, people, not that fucking easy. I absolutely promise you that. Much more harder than you would think. Alright, let's roll her back over, you know, get her up on her, put her back on her back. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> take it off. <laughs> I made another joke. I have to order the parts. Go back on over to the computer. Order the parts we need. How you doing, beautiful? Go back, grab these parts, order the parts, see what we need, and I'm pretty sure we can get everything within the next couple of days. You know, I love O'Reilly's, but sometimes, man, I wish they'd walk our parts in the door, you know? Like, it's out of hand. I, I order it, and I wish they did it. All right, let's get this engine together, shall we? Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Crankshaft. Let's get this person done. I think it's a beautiful that we're putting on uh, a Camaro. So for anybody that knows a decent amount about cars or just Camaros in general, they uh, don't have dual overhead cam V8s. They have in a block. So it's re really interesting that the, the way they designed this car, or at least the engine options they gave it, was one of that was a dual overhead cam. Another nerd m moment for car people. Uh, like, I could understand if this car had the uh, ZR1 V8. From the 94, 95 Corvette, obviously, then they would have that type of engine. But, I mean, hey, I don't judge. Chevy could have done it. I wish Chevy did. Chevy would have made a really fast car. Can't do anything about that, though. Can't. Let's get this engine together, put it back in, put some oil in it. Put it on the dyno. Of course I'm going to dyno it for you folks. We're going to... See what it makes. It better make it stock numbers. If not, I failed. It better make it stock numbers. Actually, you know what? Let's make it better than stock numbers. Let's put some big sparkies in there. Should have enough. If not, we'll get the right ones ordered. But we're definitely putting them spark plugs in it. Give it a little more of a power boost. I doubt it'll give it a whole lot. Maybe a couple horsepower. Honestly, I'll probably give it like two. Maybe. One. One and a half. One and three quarters. Something around that. I'm not giving it coil packs. I'm just giving it some really good spark plugs. It's like what I... I mean, I paid a hundred and... I think thirty dollars for spark plugs for my car. And in my eyes, that's pretty expensive. Uh, some people would probably be like, Oh, I, I paid over two hundred dollars for spark plugs. Well, you probably also have like a really aggressively boosted car. I'm only pushing maybe five hundred wheel. No, I am. I'm like 460, What is going on? I can't click on one thing. There we go. All right, let's put that timing cover on. Anyway, back to the conversation of being boosted. Some people are super aggressive with it, so I mean, I'm not. I, I don't care. Do I daily the car? I don't need to be super aggressive on the car that I daily. As much as some people, you know, would definitely disagree with me. I have to pay for it on my own. I don't make that type of money to do something like that. Wish I did, but I don't. Ignition coils going in on this side. Let's get it. Right side, right side. 
<clears throat> now, as my girl Rihanna would say, to the left. Wait, no. Beyonce. Oh, I done butchered it. Don't kill me. It was Beyonce that said that. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm a rock and roll country type of guy. I listened to it once in a great while, but uh, yeah, that was Beyonce. That was that was definitely Beyonce. I done fucked her, boss. I done fucked up, boss. Ugh. Head chopped. Head chopped. All right, let's get the front put together. Get all these pulleys put on. Get the serpentine belts put on. Water pump, come on. Hello, hello. If you've ever had to do a water pump on the front of these cars, I promise you it does not look that easy. You gotta do a whole lot more. 110%. Wait a minute. Was that was that 80%? That was 80%. Alright, we got an issue. Water pump. Pulley did not get by. Alright, come back with that one. Come on. 100%. Let's get it. 10-4. Good, buddy. I knew for a fact I didn't see something right. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. 100%. 100%. Alright, let's put this uh, pulley on. Nope. Serpentine belt. Serpentine. 10-4. Good, buddy. Belt tensioner. Come on. Oh, we don't got a belt tensioner either? Oh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. O'Reilly's is getting them here in absolute killer speed right now, man. I'm ordering them, and they're slanging them out to me like I'm needing drugs. I need the serpentine belts like I needed drugs. Or the belt tensioner like I needed drugs. Let's put the oil filter on since I'm down here, you know. Technically, you would not do that. I mean, you could, but I mean, people just prefer to put a little bit of oil inside that. Especially for a street car, I mean, it's just kind of normal. Normal. Very much normal. Crankshaft bearing cap. Come on now. Come on now. Put these rod caps on. We're trying to get done as quick as we can, aren't we not? Like, I thought the whole situation was to get this done. For anybody curious that's going to be going on in this channel for the future, uh, I am going to be uploading from gaming to my real life from like my cars hanging out with some of my closest friends and helping them with their cars uh, i have a couple friends that own mustangs uh, i have a really close friend of mine that owns two fox bodies that we actually work on quite often so i will make videos of that and i think those will be enjoyable videos just for the pure fact that you know me and aaron are you know really good friends we've known each other for years and we work on cars just all the time together. Like, we've learned how to work on cars because of each other. And not like that, but like, we were around each other so much and we just were both had the same interest in high school. So we just kind of stuck to each other because not many other people in high school were into cars. A few other of our friends did, but, you know, not as we've gotten older. They were just the people that just like cars. They're not actually super into cars. Like, you know. A lot of other people if you know what I mean all right looks like this engine is together ready to come off the engine stand come on let's get it let's get it boss come on now come on now let's put her in right sir right sir 100% oh look at that we're gonna slide in that looks like it barely fits all right let's move this on over to the other car Sylvia yes sir let's add some fluids now shall we let's get fluids in it let's lift it up in the air put the drive shaft on it put the starter on it take it to the dyno hopefully it makes uh, stock numbers I'm hoping for stock numbers or I mean a couple uh, horsepower above it I mean I really don't expect more than five because I'm not putting aggressive things other than these spark plugs I want it to run good so uh, I guess we'll see what happens on that end you know all right get the brake fluid in everything's going everything's moving power steering cap let's get it off come on now i'm really different on this situation i like to fill this all the way to the top some people are completely different and you know don't like to do that i am one of those look at that plum full bam let's put some oil in shall we personally i like to go with a little bit of mobile one uh, I've always been curious if you can do actual mods to have like real engine oil style mods for steam But I've never looked too into depth. I've never actually looked into it. I'm sure there is But definitely would love to see it if no one's ever done it Absolutely 
killer idea if you would never do it do it please and thank you if you're telling me that it's not the max it's not the max i'm sorry i'm not filling it to the max you know this you don't need to go to the max you don't need to push it to the limit look at that let's lower it to the ground let's get it on the ground see what it looks like oh it's good that's a muscle car if i've ever seen one that's a muscle car forgot we gotta pick it on up Put the drive shaft on it, put the transmission on it, and put the starter on it. Look at that. Gearbox. Looks like we gotta put the exhaust on it too. I think I gotta get O'Reilly's to get a couple over to me. Pronto. Absolutely. Would you look at that? Would you would you look at that? Let's put it up on our list. Let's hit it. Let's call O'Reilly's. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's. Oh, Bam. Absolutely in the car, ready to go. Firing on all cylinders. Let's get the drive shaft in. Bam. It's a long drive shaft. Uh, I love to see it. Love to see it. At least it's a single piece, and we ain't got to worry about any of that. Have you ever had to change some guibos? You absolutely understand. I think we're good. I think we're ready to drop her down and uh, get her to the dyno, folks. All right, folks, we are here. We are at the dyno. Let's see what the Camaro can do, shall we? This could be pretty loud. It is a V8. Who knows? Who knows? Honestly, nothing bad with that car. That car turned out perfectly. Oh my lord, those fans are loud in my ears. Can't take it. Can't take it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful car. I think uh, the finishing touches need to be uh, some plates. So anybody can uh, take her on the road uh, when they come out to us. Oh, looks like it doesn't get no front plates. I like that. I like that. All right. I appreciate that. That's that's a beautiful car right there. Let's move her on out to the front, shall we, folks? Get her ready for a pickup. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody that came out, stopped by, and stopped in for this YouTube video. I will be doing a lot more of these, especially with... Uh, you know, a lot of friends. I have a lot of gaming friends that really enjoy making videos and all of this. So I appreciate y'all for sticking out. I appreciate anybody that followed and subscribes and really just, you know, stays in contact with me as a friend, especially an online friend. Anyway, you guys have a good one. And please, take care of your cars.